now I'm delighted to be able to take that grid system, which as part of the workbook that I also make available to people, have this as a hands-on walk your talk exercise. Now that we have the central stage and this area open, I'd like for someone who feels uncomfortable or would like to reach the next level of comfort and connection with the way you move your body on stage, help me with this and practice with everyone else here. Who would like to feel more comfortable and use this opportunity? Fantastic. Excellent. Come on up. Your name is? Harry. Harry. Hey, hey, yeah. Let's give Harry the big hand. You saw the PowerPoint presentation. It was done very quickly. Uh, what you saw, and you'll remember what was up there earlier, is, Sooner, can you take your shoes off for this? Because we want to have you feel comfortable to step on these laminated sheets and have them still be laminated sheets at the end. Thank you. <laughs> they do take a lot of pressure, but they don't take big shoes too well. That's great. You'll be more comfortable this way. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So, starting in the central square of the present, which we all want to land in sooner and later. We're going to put the pass to your left for the purposes of this exercise. You're welcome to change it around. And just as you saw in what you saw in the PowerPoint presentation, the future over to your right, confiding in the, the middle. And for my next point, the dynamic over here to the front right, I've been saying to myself to the front left, far away, what backs you up and research. So you don't have to think about anything. I'm just going to guide you through this. And what I think is what we'll do is tell us just for a moment what you're most passionate about in your connection with the Excel community. Just anything that comes up is fine. Sharing information. Great. So here we are about to share information because you are now in a place of you're going to be walking the talk. This is a walking the talk exercise. And just notice what happens when you say, uh, when I share information, my present stance on the subject, since you're standing there, let's see what you say. My present stance about sharing information myself is, just see what comes up, saying those words. My present stance about sharing information is? My present stance about sharing information You want something to come up? <laughs> yeah, it is, is that I'm not sure what is going to come up. Is that, right? Is that I'm not yeah. sure what I'm going to say. Yeah. That's right. That's really fine. At least I've got it prepared. Exactly. Sure That's right. No, we're going to be having you thinking on your feet here tonight. And this will shift your whole ability to be able to think on your feet, because that's what we're doing. Stepping to the left. The way I have always been about sharing information is that I've had to have preparation, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. In the future, now we're going to step over to the future. The way I'd like to have things be in the future is to tell us now. How the way I'd like to be in the future is to be able to speak in an appropriate fashion. Exactly. And you notice what's starting to happen with the hands already as you're saying it. You're giving yourself permission. It's really I interesting. I give myself permission when I put my hand up. <laughs> <laughs> and now, guess what? You're in the middle of the stage. <laughs> and so this is great that you're on the hot seat and moving through it for all of us. Because who here can identify with Harriet? <laughs> We're all this way. And it's great. Thank you so much for sharing your vulnerability as your strength. Yes, Thank well, you. I've got to stand up in front of a whole lot of slightly hostile medical practitioners yes. to tell them something they, they don't want to hear okay. in August. So Good. I well, you may actually change your thinking about that. <laughs> uh, one of the people who is one of my uh, students' clients is a psychiatrist, and she has all kinds of people that in her presentation yes. that don't want to hear her, but she's changed her view. I have a, uh, a tree in the room that I work in, and uh, at first she saw this tree as a spiny, prickly, um, argumentative audience member. And it wasn't too soon that she noticed it actually was soft. It wasn't prickly at all. And she changed her relationship with her speaking. So I think it's really up for you to do that. Um, stepping over here to the intuitive left side and saying to yourself, I've been thinking about presenting to that group for a long time. Yes, I have been thinking about presenting to that group for a long time. <laughs> And if I could have my way, this is the dynamic side, if it could go even beyond my fears, <coughs> I would want what to happen in that presentation. Then I, I'd actually want it to be entertaining and witty. Okay, good. <laughs> cool. And guess what's happening? <laughs> Confiding. What I'm learning from this exercise is 
practicing as rats. What I'm learning from this exercise is that there's a lot more to this, um, and I can learn, well, I've always known I can learn by doing, but uh, there's a particular learning. Mm, beautiful, beautiful to see you willing, so willing to do this. Now in the back row, over here, standing right here, and saying, up to now what's held me back is... Up to now what's held, held me back is that I've never wanted to practice in front. Mm, mm, excellent. <laughs> I think it's enough. We don't have to do all the zones. Now what we want to do... I want to do something. You want to do more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We want to have more people come up, though. Let's see. Um, no, I don't want to do those two zones right now. I, I, I want to focus on you now starting off in the center and imagining us being that group that you're presenting to, when is it exactly? August. In August. And how many people will be there? Uh, perhaps 40. Okay, so double the size. So each one of you, imagine yourself being two people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And imagine yourself talking to this audience in a whole different way than you imagine. I want you to say the following words. Up to now, as you step to the left. Up to now. I've been afraid that you're going to be, what's the word you used earlier? Slightly hostile. Slightly hostile, right, <laughs> yes. right. What I'm prepared to have happen, let's step forward now. What I'm prepared to have happen. Is for you to be much more willing to listen to me is for you to be much more willing to listen to me than I thought before this exercise tonight. Than I thought before this exercise tonight. In fact, from doing this exercise tonight, in fact, from doing this exercise, tonight, I have a new perception about how you will receive me. I have a new perception about how you I'll will step receive me. Step in the confiding me. area here. My new perception is. My new perception tell is us. that I'll use the stage, and by using the stage and using my body better. I'll be able to connect with the audience in a way that they experience as positive. Beautiful. Now stand right there for some feedback. You mm -hmm. notice what happened. You saw the shifts that took place. Anka, what did you notice that you, if you were a member of that audience, and perhaps before you might have been a bit hostile, what did you notice that shifted that actually moved you as an audience member as to how engaging and informative this Harriet was? So any uh, feedback for that? Yeah, yeah Harriet, fantastic. I'm really impressed, to be honest. Um, just the way you've become much more natural and much more confident in yourself because what you said was authentic and you actually confided your fears in the beginning and then suddenly built up all this <laughs> confidence in the time span of about five minutes. That's fantastic. Excellent. Thank you very much. Any other piece of feedback? Yes, yeah, Brad. I just, I just got that um, Harriet gave herself permission. Tell her to directly? Not, yeah, you gave yourself permission not to be afraid about it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. What are you going to remember about what you just did in this exercise tonight? So when you have that happen, I, obviously I'm happy to work with you over the next few days or come to my master's class on Sunday if you want more attention. But in the meantime, if you are able to remember what shifted here tonight, what one thing would you remember the most? I don't stand behind the lectern like this. Great, yeah. so I'm free to so be... I'm actually free to move Excellent. and uh, give myself permission to uh, to move away from the lectern yes. and um, talk directly uh, and connect directly with the uh, with the medical practice. Excellent. Let's give her a big hand. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm glad this stuff works.